guys, Cindy R. Hill Martin Devers. Are we ready? It's time for our Crazy Eights again. This is for October, so let's pick these cards and see what we get. One, two, three. Hopefully, we don't get the same ones, right? Four, five, six. Mix them up. Seven and eight. All right, so let's see what these cards are real quick. I'll just shove those to the side. And here's our eight for October. Add marks with a palette knife or a card. Add pastel or gel crayon. Turn my work upside down. Add a quote. Add a black pen or marker, black marker or pen. Add one piece of ephemera washi tape and add scraps huh all right let me get this stuff together and I will be back with you we'll figure out then um, what what order we're gonna put these in so I will be back all right guys you got a little different view um, now because I'm actually away from home I pulled these cards and then I ended up having to um, go away from home for a bit do you I'm going to see if I can fix the, sh the shadow issue, but you also have a different view because I'm filming from my tripod and not from my normal desk. So what I did before I left is I actually pulled the cards for the Crazy Eights, and um, you'll see that right before this clip. So let's see what we've got and let's see what order we're going to do them in. All right, so we have add marks with a palette, with a palette knife or a card. Add a black marker or pen. Add scraps. All right, I'm going to start out with adding scraps. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to add some ephemera. But before I do that, I'm going to turn my work upside down. Um, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, maybe not. Okay, so add scraps. Add a piece of ephemera. Um, use up some washi tape. Hmm. Um, I think I'll add marks with a palette card or a knife, a uh, palette knife. I'm going to add a quote, then I'm going to add black marker or pen. I'll add pastel or crayon, gel crayon. Actually, i got to turn my work upside down. So, hmm. I'll... I'm going to try this. Um, this this one really, uh, for the rest of the cards that I've chosen for um, this month, which is October, it doesn't, this doesn't really fit in anywhere uh, unless I begin with my work turned upside down, which I really don't want to do. So, so this is the order. We're going to add scraps, add ephemera, washi tape, um, marks with a palette knife or a card, a quote, turn my work upside down, add black marker or pen, and pastel or gel crayon. So that's what we're going to do. Um, like I said, I'm actually away from home and there's going to be noise in the background. So what I am going to do is I'm going to mute um, and I'll just fast forward through this clip. And one other thing I got to do before I get going is get the light situation um, fixed. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll chat with you in a bit.
guys. Um, so we're almost done. This was the last number card, or the last card, which was Add Pastel or Gel Crayon. I chose Gel Crayon. And what these are is these are called um, Point Sticks um, Solid Highlighters. Oops, where are you? This way. And I believe I got these, I think, at Jerry's Artorama. I'm not really positive, but I'm sure if you look on um, Amazon or, you know, one of those, you'll find it. It's called a point stick, and it's an inkjet safe. So that means if you're going to do it over inkjet that the printing won't run. You know, the black won't, won't smear. So, yeah, I just, I had fun with this. Um... You know, I put on here, bear your soul is my quote. And, you know, sometimes it's hard, but we do. We have to bear our souls uh, just to get through what we need to get through, you know. So I just wanted to wrap it up. I'm still playing around with the green. I love these. They, they're just so great when you do this. But one thing to remember about these, uh, and this is just my experience, I've never been able to use them and then write over them because they are that gel um, type of a crayon. All right. Okay, so that, I'm done. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I want to use, I got to have purple, right? Let's have purple in here. So I'm hoping, um, I don't think it's going to happen this year, but maybe next year I can get so I can do these live, um, which I think would be a lot of fun. Um, the issue I have is I'm going to have to do those in the morning or, you know, earlier in the day because as the day goes on, um, my pain worsens. So, you know, everything for me at this point is better early in the morning. But I'm at a friend's house right now, um, house sitting for and watching her puppy dog. So, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out everything you need to take because I knew I wanted to film. Um, I just had to make sure I had everything. And let me tell you, it was a lot. <laughs> so what I actually did is, I, you know, I pulled the cards at home, but then, um, you know, brought with me what I needed. So, and it's funny because what I brought with me, I didn't use on this page. Isn't that crazy? All right, so we're almost done. I'm just gonna color in these last few. But yeah, I've been thinking a lot lately about this, about burying my soul. And, you know, I think when I bear it, it's gonna be bared to myself, um, which I'm working on, so. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this month. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the um, box below. And also, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about, all right? Let me bring it up a little bit closer just so you can see a little bit better. Ugh. I think it turned out pretty cool. Can't get the bottom in it. I can't get the bottom in because of my camera. There you go. So it just says bury your soul. All right, guys, happy creating. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.